Are you desperate to lose weight? If the answer to that question is yes, then keep watching. Hi, I'm Bonnie Giller, registered dietitian nutritionist and certified intuitive eating counselor. I hear this a lot. Bonnie, I need to lose weight. Not today, yesterday. Or the phrase, I'm desperate to lose weight over and over again. I hear it. It likely plays in your head. The first thing I want you to understand is I get it. We live in a society that drills the message into us that we need to look a certain way, weigh a certain number, have a certain body shape and size to be worthy. So you're trying and you're trying and you're trying, yet it doesn't work. If you went on a diet, you were a good follower, you lost the weight, ultimately, more than likely, you've gained that back. How many times over has that happened for you? Here's the thing. When we become desperate to lose weight, that desperation just continues to fuel the dieting cycle. Because here you are, I got to lose weight, I got to lose weight. You start a diet, you follow the rules of the diet, really strict in the beginning, you lose the weight, but all of a sudden that restriction creates all the feelings of deprivation, eventually there's some trigger that leads you to eat a food or foods on your forbidden list, and then all bets are off. You then overeat, you binge eat, you punish yourself, you start talking so mean to yourself. What are some of the things that you say to yourself when you, quote unquote, fallen off track? More than likely, it's not so nice. But then eventually you get desperate again to lose weight. That desperation could be because the summer's coming and your summer clothes don't fit. You're going on vacation. You want to put on a bathing suit, but you're not confident. You have a wedding coming up. You have nothing to wear. So many, so many different triggers and reasons of why you're now desperate again. And you start this dieting cycle over again. So here's the thing. You see that with more desperation you end up continuously on this roller coaster feeling worse about yourself. And more than likely, with all the dieting up and down, up and down, up and down, you're probably at a weight higher than what you were before you even began this dieting cycle. So what do we do? The first step is I'd like you to take a breath. Take some deep breaths and calm your mind and remind yourself that desperation in anything in life does not ever yield the results we want. The next thing that I would like you to do is stop and take the focus off of weight, even for just a moment as you're watching this video, and assess for yourself some of the habits and lifestyle activities that you engage in that perhaps are not supporting the healthiest life for yourself. So take a look at your mindset because mindset has a lot to do with the results we get in life, in every aspect of our lives. So mindset, how you are eating, what are some of your habits, movement, stress, how do you manage that stress, sleeping patterns? Take a look at all of these various variables and assess where might I need to make some change so I can feel the best that I can. What do you think that is? Write them down one by one and then set a goal. Pick one of these variables and set a goal to start making some positive change in that area. Here's the thing. We really need to take the focus off the weight, which I wholeheartedly understand is challenging. It's difficult, again, because of all the messages and because probably you have a very long history of trying to lose weight. But if we take the focus off the weight 
and we focus on habits and we focus on behaviors and we focus on how we nourish ourselves and how we take care of ourselves, if you are holding any weight that is above what is a normal, natural, healthy weight for you, more than likely that will come off in a very norm, natural, organic fashion without you desperate and watching the scale day in and day out. I want to share a story with you. About a year and a half ago, uh, somebody reached out to me and shared his eating history, his dieting history, his struggles. And we met, we had a consultation, and I shared how I might be able to help him, expressing the fact that, yes, I can absolutely help him change the way he relates to food, his habits, his behaviors, his overall mindset, and ultimately help, helping him to achieve optimal health. But he was so very stuck on weight loss. He wanted to focus on weight loss as the you know, first, first item and probably the primary item. I respectfully said that I don't think that's the best way for me to help him and we parted ways. A year and a half later, he reaches back out to me just a week ago and he shares that he's now ready for this journey. He's now ready to tap into his mindset, to shift out of diet mentality, because for the last year and a half, he's been up and down, up and down, on and off diets. And he finally realized that they just don't work. Is it scary for him? Absolutely. Without focusing on weight, it is a little bit different, if you will but he's ready for that journey. This is a story that has happened over and over with multiple people who've reached out to me. So take a moment, give some thought to how much time you have really, for lack of a better word, wasted on trying yet just one more diet before you really learn to become an intuitive eater, before you really learn to attune back to your inner wisdom to trust yourself again with food. You were born that way, you can get back to that. In the meantime, I would encourage you to love and appreciate the body that you are in right now. Will it change in the future? Maybe yes, maybe no, we don't know. Only your body will know as it will respond to your actions, your behaviors, and your mindset. Beliefs are very powerful in this journey as well. Well, I hope that this has shed some light for you. If you hear yourself saying over and over again, but I'm desperate to lose weight, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like my help, then please reach out to me at bonnie at dietfreeradiantme.com or just DM me on social media. I'm on Facebook as well as Instagram. All right, well, that is it for this episode of the Diet Free Zone Show. I will see you next time.